Hey, Hi Vibe Collective, this is Jax, and today we're going to be taking a look at Wednesday, March 25th. For today's energy uh, in the tarot, we're first starting off with the three of coins for the air sign. So it's pretty crystal clear. Basically, we have to get to work today. We have to really uh, start putting our nose to the grindstone and putting things in action that we've been planning uh, it was since the last few days, really. Um, it feels like this week, this last weekend's energy started to bring up all these new ideas, these decisions of where we're going to go. And so now's the time, you know, to this Wednesday to really apply it, to, to start to bring it into the reality and to understand that it's not going to have immediate payoffs. We are not going to have benefits that just come directly from this. Three of Coins is a long-term investment, and it's something that it happens usually in a basement or a garage. You know, it sort of happens in the background where no one can see what's going on. No one can see its future success just by looking at it. And, you know, even though it might be discouraging to not have that emotional support, at the same time, you're really all the support you need. You have the validation that you can give yourself and you understand what your grand vision looks like in a way that no one else can understand. And as far as the fire signs, speaking of grand visions, they're in the exact same position. They're eight of wands. So for them, actually, they are still in the planning phase right now. They've got a grand idea that they recently wanted to step into. They've been sort of envisioning what it'll look like. And Eight of Wands is saying, I think you need to aim higher. I think you need to decide that, yeah, you've got this short-term plan, which looks like it'll work and it will definitely yield what it is you're looking for. But with Eight of Wands, we have to aim for the heavens. We have to aim up to our highest potential. And that's what this is going to be about. It's about self-worth and making sure you understand you're worth enough to aim for what it is that you truly can do. Not what other people necessarily want you to do or what you think you know might please them, but what would actually please you, would would please other people and would you know sort of solidify your connection with the universe because this move of passion is so much more than than just being about career. It's about the kind of path you take and the kind of man or woman you become. So as far as the water signs with the Aerophant card, you're sort of in this position where you're going to be feeling very emotionally strong today. You're going to be feeling this strength on behalf of your family, on behalf of your relationship or friendships. And it feels like, you know, in that position of emotional strength, while other people are kind of freaking out or just overthinking things, or, you know, they're over in the basement or garage working on something, the water signs, you're, what you're going to want to do is basically say, you know, I want to give this support today. I want to show this. But at the same time, I am not beholden to give this support in every single way that I possibly can the moment that it presents itself because I have to also always remember to support myself, the individual. With the Aerophant card, we always have to keep the lesson of understanding the balance of the individual versus the balance of the utilitarian philosophy and what's in the greater good, what's in the greatest interest for the most people. And we got to be real about which you know thing that we're doing and what we're really stepping into to the maximum. Pure individualism you know, often becomes greed or self and pure utilitarianism becomes like a dictatorship. So, you know, let yourself remember that you deserve support, even if other people don't know how to give it, to give that to yourself. And also the supportive strength that you have today is it going to be extremely useful for the air signs, the fire signs, and the earth signs, especially because the earth signs have the tower today. So they're basically facing the destruction of something that they literally just saw was working out. They just saw that it was something that was on track. You know, it was like, it's going to happen for sure. And now they have to cope with the fact that it's not going to happen. Some big plan, uh, some something that's connected to both their short-term and long-term. And so now that that's been destroyed, they have to rebuild. And they got to kind of figure that out quickly. So water signs, you're definitely going to want to give them that support. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I will talk to you all tomorrow. <laughs>